Hello my loves, welcome back to another video. I'm Ashley and today I'm going to be doing my September TBR. This is chaos in the best form because we have two big readathons and a whole bunch of other stuff happening for this TBR. Because of course the two readathons that I'm taking part in are Becca's Bookopoly and G's Magical Readathon. Instead of me even trying to explain what's going on with those, I will just leave the announcement videos for both of them down in the description box so that you can go and check it out for yourself. But luckily for myself and probably everybody else involved, it seems that these two pair up quite nicely. So I have been so excited to create this TBR and there are some other stuff mixed in there as well like read-alongs, book clubs and also another TBR game. So I came into both of these readathons with an agenda to create a TBR that had the ultimate spooky season vibes. So that's dark academia, horror, anything that would be classed as dark. Did the prompts let me do that however you are soon to find out. And so to get us started we'll be starting out with Becca's Bookopoly or Bookoplathon. For this one I decided to do five rolls because I feel like five is the standard amount of books that I can guarantee reading within a month, even if I'm having a particularly bad month. So I've gone with five rolls and let's see how the board treated me. So we have the board set up. I don't know if these are in the right place. <laughs> I never learn. I never know which way around this goes. I'm pretty sure I do Becca's absolute head in asking every single time. So we're just going to put them wherever. But I'm using this tiny square crystal as a counter because it's the only thing I had that was small enough. So I'm going to pop that on go. Because I don't have any dice, we're gonna do it on here. So this is chaotic, but let's do our first roll. Eight, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight gods. Okay. I can do with that. So for roll number one, we had the prompt of gods. For this one, you can choose anything that is directly related to gods, have godlike characters in them, or it can also relate to religion, cult-like things. It's pretty open to interpretation. So for this one, my interpretation took me down the more religious route. And for this one, I'm going with My Best Friend's Exorcism by Grady Hendrix. The association here being that exorcisms usually are a religious ritual. I guess, of sorts. And so I'm guessing that would be a theme within this book. I did check with Becca and she said I was good to go. So I finally am going to read this book. It's been on so many TBRs now. This is a very well loved, I think, light horror. It's more of a comedic, humorous tone within the horror story, but it is pretty much what the title says. There is a girl whose best friend is possessed and so she tries to save her. The entirety of this book does have a general 80s vibe to it, as you can probably tell from the cover, and I'm just hoping that this would be quite a quick read. I feel like it might be, so fingers crossed that's the case, but this is book number one. So we're off to a good start. Let's see how roll number two goes. Roll number two. Okay, we're going for the big numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Myth, lore, legend, fairy tale. Okay, we have a theme. <laughs> Does Bacopoli know it's me playing this game? Roll number two gave me the prompt of anything inspired by mythology, folklore, legend, fairy tales, which... I have whole collections of these. But instead of going for a straightforward retelling, as I said, I'm trying to get the spooky season vibes in. So the one I've gone for for this is actually The Maidens by Alex Michaelides. This is a new Doc Academia book in which this woman who works at a school is very suspicious of this absolutely adored professor and suspects him of murdering his students. There is also this like weird group that he seems to be accumulating of students called The Maidens inspired by Greek mythology. So that's where my mythology connection is. I've seen such mixed reviews for this, like people either seem to love it or hate it. So I am very excited to see which side I will fall on. Roll number three. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Spooky! Oh my God, yes. I'm getting suspicious. <laughs> Don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious. <laughs> Seriously though, what the hell? I asked for a spooky TBR, I'm gonna get a spooky TBR because roll number three brought me the prompt of reading something spooky. Although ironically, I'm not going for one of the spookiest books on my TBR for this one because I have been dying to read this book 
for so long now. I've been trying to get it in and it's just not been working, but it does have really like creepy, mysterious vibes. So for this one, I'm going for You Let Me In by Camilla Bruce. This one is a kind of psychological thriller, but also has fantastical elements because it's one where you have to decide what you believe. I think. So in this one we are following the story of Cassandra Tipp who is a very eccentric, reclusive author but she is famous and she has a lot of mysterious deaths within her family in her past that quite a lot of people actually suspect her of having some kind of involvement in. Now at the beginning of this book she just mysteriously goes missing, leaving behind a manuscript for her family to find that they have to read in order to gain their inheritance. This manuscript is said to tell her story of what happened but it actually tells two stories. One of mysterious fae-like creatures who have some kind of dark involvement leading people into the forest but there's also some kind of psychological trauma there and it's not really clear what is quite going on so I have been so intrigued <laughs> about this book. I love the sort of stories where you're left to decide what you believe. Everything about this is creepy and so I have just been desperate to read it and so I've put it on the TBR. Rule number four. <laughs> It's gone rogue. Okay. We have a double. <laughs> it went rogue. Ah! Okay, 10. We have a double. We'll add another roll on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. LGBTQ plush rep. Okay. Roll number four brought me LGBTQ plush rep, which again. <laughs> worked out perfectly because a new release that I've been wanting to read is A Lesson in Vengeance by Victoria Lee. This again is a dark academia book, a sapphic dark academia book that I am so excited for. This one is based on a boarding school with witchcraft within its history because there is a mystery called the Dalloway Five in which five girls all mysteriously died one after another on the school grounds. Our main character in this book ends up being pulled into a research project about the Dalloway Five and it seems that history begins to repeat itself. Love a mystery, love dark academia, love witchcraft. Here we go. I honestly didn't think I'd get to read this one yet so I am thrilled to sneak it on in. Sapphic romance pull through. <laughs> this book also happens to be my Patreon book club pick for September and October. It won the poll and I am so so thrilled about that because I think we're all pretty excited for this one. So if you are interested in joining my Patreon book club for this one the information for that will be linked down below and it does of course mean that there will be a review video dedicated to this book. For this one though we did of course get a double so instead of having five books on my TBR we have six which to be fair, with the way this TBR is going, I'm not too mad about. <laughs> Watch me jinx myself now. What should have been the last roll, but isn't roll number five. 11. Okay, we really are rolling the high numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 11. So that's the girl, boy, people, basically, Names for people card. I don't know what you call this. Like one of the buzzword ones that involves a title. I am so good at explaining. <laughs> So for this one, I landed on the buzzword prompt related to people and their names or titles. And this one, I'm really stretching the interpretation part of all of this, but I just needed to get this book on because I really need to read Fool's Fate by Robin Hobb because I'm reading this one for Elderling Long. It's the biggest book that currently needs to be read and I needed to squeeze it on somewhere. So I've taken the full part of the name and the title of that character and we're running with it. <laughs> This is the third and final book in the Tony Man trilogy and I think it's around the halfway point of Elderling Long as a whole. I'm not going to go into what this book is about because we've done so many Robin Hood books now and I can't actually explain what this series in particular is about, only the one before it because this one would contain spoilers but I need to read this one towards the beginning of September for the live show and so I'm very glad to get it onto this TBR in one way or another even though I am absolutely terrified to read it because everybody tells me that this will break me as if all of her other books haven't already done that. So now we have our final roll, hopefully, let's see where we go. And for what is hopefully our final roll. Oh no, not this again. Oh, okay, we have five. I thought that was a double then. One, two, three, four, five, TBR game. Oh, oh, okay, I don't know what to do for that. Ah. <laughs> So for this one I landed on TBR game and at the point that I rolled that 
I completely forgot that this is a thing I'm already going to be doing because for Gavin's TBR in September, he isn't playing his own TBR game. He's actually asked a whole bunch of people to play it for him. So we all played a round of Play Your TBR Right, which means that I was already playing a TBR game and this again, it worked out perfectly. I cannot believe how kind Bacopoli has been to me. Like I am shocked. But in this round of Play Your TBR Right, it's basically Gavin versus all of us. So if we won, we would get to read the book that we chose. If Gavin won, we would have to read the book that Gavin chose. Now I won't play out the whole scenario here, but if you do want to see the process of all of those games and an extended version of who won, then I will of course leave a link to Gavin's video down below. But I am very smug and happy to say that a certain someone may have won. The king again. Oh my oh god. My god. That was really easy. <laughs> and by smug, I mean actually really surprised because it was very easy. <laughs> but my choice for Play Your TBR Right was The Last Graduate by Naomi Novik because I was sent an arc by the publisher. This comes out sometime in September and so I need to read it. And so I did manage to again get this onto my TBR and it just worked out perfectly. So this is the second book in the Scholomance series, the first book being A Deadly Education, which is based within this school which basically tries to murder its students or rather the monsters inside the school try to murder its students. To graduate they have to survive basically and our main character is kind of attracted to dark magic but she doesn't want to be but she just finds it incredibly easy to do things like curses and it's basically just her trying to survive this school and also struggling with that kind of morality that's behind dark magic and stuff. But I didn't adore the first book, it was a really strange one in which I was very half and half with it but I am very intrigued to see where the second book goes. I am a little bit dubious but we'll see how it goes. Either way I need to read it and it's on the TBR. So here we go. So those are the six books that are on my Bookopoly TBR and then of course we do have the Magical Readathon. Now for this one I am actually assigning a book for every single prompt which is ten different books <laughs> because you have the seven journey prompts and then three character prompts. However I do have a tactic that I'm doing with this because I'm going to have six books which are my mandatory books and the ones that I'm aiming for which are the crossovers with the Bookopoly prompts and between those six I am going to try and aim to do three journey prompts and three character prompts. So while a lot of these books will just be crossing over into the Magical Readathon I do have a few more to add which I'll get to in a second but to cover the ones we already have we'll start with the journey prompts. So prompt number one is to read a book with a map in it and for this one good old Robin Hood pulls through because of course with any high fantasy book or epic fantasy book rather we have a map inside so Robin Hobb has got me covered. Prompt number two on the journey is to read a book that is on the top of your TBR. And so for this one, since I made a big fuss about getting it onto my TBR in the first place, you let me in, it's going to cover this one. It's been on so many secret TBRs in the background for about five months now, so I think it's in that title. <laughs> with this book, however, I will be doubling up with one of the character prompts, which is the one where I gain my background story of where I'm from. This basically means that you decide whether you're from the wilderness or the city, an urban setting or a wild one, and of course I went for a wild one because we all know that I love nature, and so to become a wilding, you need to read a book that is largely set in a forest or just outside somewhere and this one has a lot to do with woodland and foresty type settings so it seemed to fit perfectly. Hopping back over to the journey prompts the next one is to read a standalone and so for this one I have popped in my best friend's exorcism. While Grady Hendrix does have other books there is no sequel to this one so we're good to go. We then have the prompt to read a mystery or a thriller and for this one I have put in The Maidens since we are going to be looking into a murder mystery. And for the prompt to read a book that is set in a school I have popped in A Lesson in Vengeance since we are set within a witchy boarding school. Although quite a lot of the books that are on this TBR do actually fit within a school setting so we're good to go either way. <laughs> this is where we go off track slightly because to continue with the rest of the journey prompts we do have a couple of books which aren't included within Bookopoly so while they're not within the main six that I'm wanting to read this month. I did just want to choose books for them just in case I do have a little bit of extra time and can read a bit more than I'm anticipating. So the next prompt is to read a book that has some kind of a supernatural theme to it. And for this one, I'm going with Teeth in the Mist by Dawn Kurtigich. This one is a horror book that does have a lot of mixed media 
inside it. I've read a couple of other books by Dawn Kurtigich and really really enjoyed them. I found them to be fast reads and I do really love the multimedia format. So with this one we basically have two timelines revolving around a haunted house connect. So we have the modern day one in which a girl who is really into photography goes to this haunted house and when she goes there she starts experiencing really weird things and then of course we have the past timeline in which we get the story of why this house is haunted in the first place. I've been meaning to read this one for so long now so if I could get to this one I would be really really happy about that. And then another journey prompt is a five star prediction and I really really struggled with this. <laughs> Apparently I don't predict anything to be a five star because I'm so reluctant to hand out five stars that I now just no longer predict them <laughs> which is kind of sad and a bit silly because you would think that every book I buy I'm hoping to be a five star and while that is the case I just don't know my own system anymore so I'm very cynical when it comes to five star ratings but one which I am really 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 hoping I think has the potential to be a five star read is Madame by Phoebe Wynn. This again is a Dark Academia related book set in I think a really remote setting in Scotland. Yeah, so it's set in a boarding school on remote Scottish cliffs. And basically a woman shows up to be the new classics teacher and she's just really unnerved by what's going on there because everything seems really old and traditional but in a really kind of creepy way in how the students are expected to act and she just finds it really not great. But the longer she's there, the more she starts becoming suspicious and it just says rather mysteriously at the end that the lines between myth and reality grow even more blurred and it's up to her to find a way to escape the fate of the school before it's too late. So whatever that means I don't know I'm hoping to find out in September. So then we move on to the three character prompts that I want to do and as mentioned I have already covered one of them which is the background saying that I am from the woodland as a wilding. In terms of what character I actually want to be I want to be an elf from the woodland of Dark Meadow. So that's the kind of dark realm. <laughs> mainly because the prompt for Dark Meadow is to read a Dark Academia book and I have about 20 of them on this TBR. Well, bit of an exaggeration but I have a lot of them covered so any of those will get me this prompt fulfilled. But just in case I wanted to add another Dark Academia to the list I would then pick up How We Fall Apart by Katie Zhao. This one is again a new release that I'm just really excited for. It follows a girl who is really surprised when her ex-best friend turns up murdered and then is even more surprised when her current best friends are accused of that murder. So this is a story of people figuring out who actually did the murder and trying to kind of get her friends out of the situation. Although I do have to laugh at the kind of tagline because it just says study hard, betray harder. <laughs> I mean, I'm in. I'm in. I want to read it. So excited. And then finally to fulfill the elf prompt and actually become an elf. That prompt is to read a book with some kind of celestial theme to it in the cover or the title, some moon stars, that kind of thing. And for this one I have just popped in at the last graduate because while you can see a few little stars dotted around here, we do have even more of them on the actual cover. So all of these are classing as my stars. And we do also have the actual Scholomance symbol with a kind of moon face situation going on here. So between all of those prompts, we end up with this <laughs> stack of books, which I don't think I've read this amount of books within a month at all this year, but I'm hopeful because this bottom three are not the ones that I'm seeing as mandatory, so it's just the top six. But I have well and truly succeeded in my plan to make a spooky TBR because besides Fool's Fate, this is all dark stuff. And I'm so excited about that. It feels like I'm getting to mood read while also doing readathons, read-alongs, book clubs, that kind of thing. So very, very excited. I am so prepared for autumn. Who's with me? Let me know because I will not shut up about it. It's like my entire personality at this point, I swear to God. <laughs> But the sun is catching up with me and I have been talking for way too long so I am just going to wrap up this video here. Do let me know if you've read any of the books on this TBR. If you're taking part in these readathons, any read-alongs and book clubs yourself. If you're taking part in Bookopoly, let me know how many roles that you've ended up with. If you're taking part in the Magical Readathon, I would love to know which character you're aiming for. Is anybody joining me in the Woodland of Dark Meadow? Let me know. But for now, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then remember to leave a like and a comment so let me know that you're here. If not subscribed already, then please consider doing so. Down in the description box, you'll find information to all the books I've just mentioned, all of my social media and other bookish stuff as well. So be sure to check that out if you haven't already. But for now, I hope you're having a lovely day and I'll see you next time with a new video. Bye.